Hey guys, welcome to Baker Airsoft. So let's take a look at the Airsoft Innovations Tornado 2 grenade today. So in the box, it came with two pins, a silicon oil manual, and an extra sticker. This sticker is more noticeable than the one that it came with. So if you're using it for outdoor, uh, it could be this one can be more easily seen. So after you throw it, your you know your whole teammates will probably help you look for your grenade. So there's extra sticker for that. And in here, they have a hole where you can attach a string to one of the pins, like what I have done here. So, you, you, it's a less chance to lose this. And it's really easy for, to set this up. So, before you insert the pin, this plastic head can be turned without any issues. So, you w would want to turn until you see this hole here. And then you insert the pin. And after insert the pin, you twist the cap until you set the timer. You have a three, you have three different settings. So one is like quick, medium, and long, I guess. So as you turn, let me just pull out the pin for now. So as you turn, this slide will bring up your pin until you hit the first session, second position, and the final position where you hit the wall. So that's the longer settings. And after you have done that, free up the gas and load up the BBs from here. And as you're loading, sometimes when the BB gets stuck, you want to twist the grenade so the BB will go down the spiral uh, pathway. So you can, you can fully load up 240 BBs in here. And I would suggest using the KSC or the Japanese back BBs as they are less, um, as they are smaller in diam diameter, so there's less chance of jamming. From the grenade and also as i was loading it from the range um some of the bbs got chipped off by the metal parts here so maybe a kc one will have a better uh loading for the grenade so after you have loaded the bb fill up the gas and as soon as you pull the bin throw it out and you will set off the grenade so let's take it off as some of the testing videos out i've done so in case there's any jamming issue, so in case there's any jamming, you should like rotate the grenade so the TVs will go in and then you can put it back in again. I'm going to put it close to the target and I will throw it maybe around the middle. I'll see how many hits. Okay, so here it goes. Find the hole. So repeating the first throw again. Um, you can see where the grenades landed is about eight meters to the wall. Um, on the floor, each two tiles is one meter. So um, if you notice the black of the wall, the plastic sheet, some of the baby hits there, and some of the BBs also hit the plastic sheet on the right side and obviously some of them hit the left side where the hit where the BBs hit the steel plates and one BB actually hit me from where I'm standing. I think I'm standing at about three, four meters from the grenade. So this time I'm doing it in second settings and I'm sure I threw it a little bit harder in the middle. See that? So on the second throw, the grenade got stuck at the bottom of a stand, so it couldn't do a complete spin. So then most of the BB goes towards the bottoms. I think some hit on the right side and bounce back and landed right in front of me. So on the third throw, I asked the range staff to throw the grenade at me. So I just, I'm just curious of how much it actually hurts. So here it goes. There, 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 there. Oh, shit, 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 shit. So a fluorescent lamp broke, but then, well actually the BBs did not break the um, tube itself, it knocks off the tube and then the tube 
fall on the floor and then broke. And I was going to do a few more testing, but I really feel bad about breaking something that time. But the staff said I can continue, but I didn't really want to until maybe they install some kind of protective cover for the light. So recapping the three testing. So the first one went okay. It hits about eight meters in diameter. I mean in the radius. And the second floor, it got stuck on something, so it couldn't do a complete spin. And the third one, well, it broke something, and it actually did not hit me, although it's very close to me. I think it was like one, two meters from me, but it actually it, it didn't hit me. None of the BBs hit me. So this is it for the unboxing and testing on the Airsoft Innovation 2802 grenade. And I'll see you guys next time, and now I'll go clean up.